things that I worked on going into the DC match was uh, just relearning the Reaper meta that I played in before Gauntlet. So I I just try to remember all that stuff. Yeah, we only had a few days to prep for DC. We were kind of expecting Mirror since they had run that comp a couple different times I think throughout the season already. So really we just prepared pretty hard for the Mirror. Uh, they came out with a few different weird strats on like Ilios and stuff and we adapted pretty well. But besides that, it was pretty, pretty basic just like grinding out the comp for the week that we thought was the best comp. Actually, I think that was like the most chill official game I've had in my whole like career, to be honest, in terms of like nerfs. But like, I felt really emotional like in the game, you know, I was like very happy, you know, to play again, stuff like that. And, but like nerfs before the game, I wouldn't say that I had like any nerfs. We'll try to make that a three and seven here today as the gates do open and then we'll be pushing forward on well, the starting map here for Ilios. Can't quite finish him off yet, but the Pulse Bomb gonna go through and Tuba, oh no. Collateral damage there, as it was stuck to Ellie Boat. He doesn't get him out of the mech, but the cleanup is still gonna be coming through as Edison continues to find kills. Two for himself, the damage orb out from Kodak gets rid of Roar, and suddenly Atlanta Rain are gonna be taking the lead here. Washington Justice need to engineer a reapproach to this point. Tuba gonna be taken down by Gator off screen just moments before he can get a Molten Core online. Whether or not that would have been enough to turn the tides of the fight, yet, you know, will not be seen here, but it's at 99%. There's a hack out on the Roar. He is melted down, and the OT will tick away 166%. Atlanta Rain, once they got it, they did not let that point go. Yep, just like that, Atlanta Rain managed to take this one back into their favor. Forgot is out, Corey is gone. And it looked good for Washington at first. They got that first lockdown, but Atlanta Rain just pulled the rug out right from beneath their feet. Oh, Edison is just being completely uncontested right now, and he is wiping them up. The CC lockdowns he's got even here to prevent the retreats. So now we get ready to move forward into Escort. Route 66, going to decide whether or not we have a tied up series. Looking for the punch, not, will not be able to find one, but gets a nice uppercut. Nearly eliminates Aim God, but he manages to fade out to safety. Elipo gets Gator, but that's looking about as good as it's going to get here for the Washington Justice. Tuba now going to be eliminated. Elipo taken down by Hawk in the back end. And yeah, the car halted for now, but it doesn't buy them much time. It's that's just going to glide through. And we're four and a half minutes plus here for Atlanta yeah. Rain on the stack. Well, here comes the Flux on the backside. Yep, managed to pick up several Tuba before he even gets slammed to the ground. Great left click there, massive accretion comes through. Setting up the members of the Washington Justice that drop down the Meteor Strike. Edison gets rid of Roar, tries to find Ark in the back, but he is just running to the hill for that. Kill on the Aim God, cannot find it. Coalescence is gonna be coming through. Kodak nearly has his though, and Edison already finds a kill on the Corey. Jump in the meantime is just up on the high ground, drops down is straight in on top of the tanks on the side of the Justice. Meteor strike through, gets rid of Tuba, had nowhere to go. Ellie Boat going to fall, and that will be the final slight little push in. Just had to gently nudge it to get across that line. And just like that, the Atlanta Rain are going to be leading in this series 2-0. Luckily, we ended up in a meta that almost all of us have played before. So yeah, that was kind of lucky for us. I think it gives them an edge if it's a, an experienced team. But I think since we're a pretty, I'd say a pretty experienced team, even like some of the newer players, they've played like contenders and stuff for the past two, three years straight. So like everyone's, everyone's pretty on top of their game. I don't think anyone's like rusty or, you know, like it's, too nervous and affects anything, so I, I think it's, I don't think it really matters for us. So I think we're confident on that comp. And I think you could see it all around. I think DC shot back though, we didn't expect them to play that good, but all around I think good performance from us. And welcome back ladies and gentlemen, it's Atlanta Rain, one map away from closing this one out, so a reverse sweep has to be pulled off if the Justice want to get this win right now. And fights that look one for Atlanta Rain. Yeah, really big hole. Together there on the Washington Justice and Edison finally finds a crucial pick off as Ark will fall. Gravitic Flux pulls two up into the air. The slam down gets rid of Tuba as well. Meteor Strike drops in. Will get cut down by Corey instantly, but the fight is very much won by the Atlanta Reign here in the final seconds of this game. The point's controlled right now, as you can see. So getting out here to contest B, pretty unrealistic. They're gonna try for it. Yeah. Everybody pushing through the same exit. Gravitic Flux will manage to catch two. Slam back down, Hawk gets rid of Ark. Edison gonna be picked off by a rocket punch from Tuba. Supercharger's gonna be gone, Masa gets rid of Roar. Two for one again in favor of the Atlanta Reign as they try to get pushed into B and they will be able to do so. 
as they just clean up the few remaining members of the Washington Justice Watch. Goes in for a punch, nails him, but in midair, Kodak with a right click manages to take him down. 10 seconds remaining, they cannot afford to have any more pickoffs here. Drop down comes through. Death Blossom is out. They throw out the barrier to try to keep it pretty protected, but Ark is going to be the first one to fall to that ultimate. Now, War will he be gone as well. They lose out on the Supercharger. Coalescence is coming through. OT starting to bleed away. Somebody's got to get over to the cart. They do manage to tag in for just a little bit longer there. Corey makes his way, but Aim God melted down. It seems like that is going to be it, too, but finally re arrives. Seismic slams back over. But everybody you can see just getting some nice squats in together. The punch away onto the wrecking ball. Atlanta Rain are able to take it 3-0. First game was good, you know. I think we played good as a team and I'm happy about my personal performance, you know. I think we just played good all around and confident play, you know. Yeah, there's already been synergy with uh, with Kodak and even the DPS. Like everyone's been playing in scrims, so. There's not really any like a loss of synergy there. Uh, I think it just came down to who they thought would give the team the best chance of winning that week. I would say fundamentals, of course. We don't know the bands yet, so it's kind of hard to like say something right now. You know, we have to wait for the bands to kind of know where we're at in terms of the meta, stuff like that, preparation. Obviously playing against Philly, again, we should be really focused on uh, just our strategy for the week. I think that's going to be the most important thing going into the match is the strategy to make sure we have the right comps and the right um, people in for the week. Just the same as every week, try to figure out the meta as fast as possible and then just refine everything. Me personally, I'll, I'll grind the hero with that. that's that's gonna be meta, make sure I got the mechanics. When we know the bands, we'll just um, try to figure out what we think is the best and just we'll have about three or four days to prepare for that. No, I'll just try to pick, I'll just try to grind out whatever is meta for the week. Um, chances are it's gonna be Arissa or Ryan, so. Um, grinding this up probably yeah i'm really thankful for the support you know um even when i'm not playing you know i'm still in the, the roster you know trying my best to help the team out even if i'm not there on stage all the time you know i got my chance today uh, i mean yesterday and we performed good you know i'm very thankful for the support still and yeah i just hope that you guys keep following us keep following me and keep being there for us you know in the hard times and the good times